Arkansas. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say thank you for clicking on this video. It means so much to me. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. I go on a lot of trips like this. I do a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting, a lot of stuff. Whatever you want to see, you know, make sure and leave comments. If you've been subscribed, welcome back to the channel, guys. This was an awesome trip that me and my buddy made to Arkansas as we left our home state of Mississippi and set out on this journey to the Buffalo River. Uh, man, I'll just let the video speak for itself. Let's get into it. This is gonna be home for this video. Uh, we slept here last night. We got here, it was raining. Had a few clips of that. Hopefully, you know, y'all saw that, but we're here. Got the truck pulled up. We're right here on this gravel bar, and this is what we came for right here, the Buffalo River. Uh, there's a lot of good smallies in here. We plan on catching them later this evening and tomorrow, so it should be really fun. We gotta get all this stuff packed up and get out there, but uh, man. We're fishing the Buffalo River. We got a 12 mile float today, and yeah, it should be good. We're gonna load in the yaks. They're in the back of the truck. We got everything loaded up. We have a light mist coming down, but it's, it's very beautiful out here. We're gonna go in here and try to get our shuttle lined up. What they're gonna do is, a lot of y'all are probably familiar with this, but I'm not. They're gonna ride up there with us to where we wanna put in. We're gonna load in, and then they're gonna bring our truck back to here which we're staying, well, they're gonna bring our truck back down there, which is by the gravel bar. So should be, should be a fun time. I think we're ready, we'll see. Okay, so we went in there and talked to him and uh, we have to wait for the guy to come back. It's, it's, you know, luckily there's not a lot of tourists here, but that means limited staff. But you see all these on the racks? That's a good thing. That means we're gonna pretty much have the river to ourself. Uh, and also the leaves are starting to turn yellow, which is real pretty down in Mississippi. Hadn't quite got there yet, but here uh, the, the leaves are falling. It's probably, you know, not too long until all these places kind of shut up for the winter. We're kind of some of their last stragglers that are going to get some good fishing in. So I'm super excited. Like I said, Caleb caught two this morning while we were just, he was just playing around. So we're going to look for some bigger ones, but it's a good sign. All right, we're saying goodbye to my truck. The shuttle service is taking it back. There she goes. What? Just look what, what we have. Here. I'm ready. This should be, this should be really fun. This is some stiller water than where we were, isn't it? It's way water. Yeah. Let's get rigged up. I'm, I'm excited. Officially on the buffalo. <laughs> you got one? The fish, I called it, boy. It's a big one. I swear. I called it on video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on the Ned Rig. On the Ned Rig. He's not the biggest though. Oh. Should I just release him? Caleb caught fish number three. Justin's still struggling. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. We're rolling. Oh crap. <laughs> Uh 
That was a little scary. Well, that was kind of scary. Oh, yeah. Justin! What? I had one earlier. Caleb has caught way more fish than me. I, I'm, Caleb, I'm just your God. You know that. Justin is my God. He's the one putting me on all these fish. Let's get this. Boop. <laughs> oh, got one. Yep. <laughs> yes, baby. Wait, that's a large mouth. <laughs> I got a largey. <laughs> Drive 400 miles, tried my best to catch a smallie. And I end up sticking on largey. I'm just too good at catching largemouth, Caleb. That's it. That's it. They just, you know, it's all I've ever known. I've just mastered the art of catching largemouth. And I guess that's what it's going to be. I just tell one of your little, uh, you know, brothers, well, your cousins to uh, hook up. Oh, oh, he's mad. That would be so funny if I traveled this long and only catch largemouth. But you end up catching like six pounders. A little change in scenery from our normal lake. Look at us. I mean, just look. Got one. Yes, I got a smallie. Woo. I almost lost him. He fell into my kayak. Here we go. It's a small one, but it's a smallie. It's a good looking little fish. Yep. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's about the same size as the last, but he choked it. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mondos all day, baby. Mondos. Woo-wee. Think drop. I think I had a nibble. I feel like I'm just gonna get hung up over here. Dang, the wind's blowing us freaking backwards. I know, I wish we could just stay on the drift. Oh, I got bit. Got him. Oh, he got off. I, I know what you mean, they get off easy. No. Little slipperies, little slippery ones. I got one. I got one. Yeah. On the rocks. Yeah, along the rocks on that side. There's one. It's a real pretty one. Let's get him back. Got one. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A big smallmouth. I'd say. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what we're looking for.
There we go. Some nice creek smallies. Oh yeah, that thing's a little toad. Oh, he's got yeah. a gut on him. So Caleb is by far catching more. He just caught a good one as y'all saw. But man, this is awesome. We're currently playing bumper boats. But just look at that. I mean, oh, we all tangled up. Well, my rod Anyways, guys, this is awesome. What we're fishing is he's fishing a little Ned rig with a, I actually got this bait in my Lucky Tackle Box. Show it to him. I don't, it's a Strike it's King. Not... It's a Strike King little little thingy jigger. It's a Smalley Killer on that Ned rig hook. Uh, he's going to have to get a new one. That one's ripped up. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I'm catching them on a little bitty swim bait. They, we haven't kind of determined which one's done better. I've just switched to the swim bait and hooked up. But I hope you all have enjoyed the scenery. It's absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, I'll get some more of it on film. Let's go. Being video and wow. Okay. Well, I just caught one, not on video. This is my new small PB. It wasn't even recorded. It's not a big one, but uh, oh well. I'm gonna get a weight. I want to get a good. I want to figure out how much these weigh. When people ask me what my smallie PB is, I can tell them the truth. 0.85. Woo, Mondo. I'll up in a smallie in the current. Oh! Oh! I got a fish on. And I'm in the current. Hope I don't flip. Oh, he came off. Of course he did. It was a decent one, man. Dang it. I was worried about flipping. Yeah, on this little gold one. All right, so we're almost back. We've been floating forever now, literally. Probably six, six, seven hours. We're almost back to the camp. We've caught a few smallies. Not really caught the one I was hoping for, like, you know, two, three pounder. Because I caught was 0.85. But it was good just to catch some fish and see this awesome scenery. I mean, you can't you can't beat that. Back at camp, we're gonna set a fire up and see if we can do some cooking. Woo! Home sweet home. So we're back to the campground. Here she is. Look, we just floated straight up off the river, came from that way, and we're here. We gotta set a fire real quick. Go get my truck from the shuttle guy. We gotta walk the ways, but man, he showed me how to catch smallies today. I caught a few myself, but we didn't catch any big ones, but it was still awesome. That light's blowing me out. It was still awesome. We gotta, it's gonna be down to 36 mm -hmm. degrees tonight, and right now it's like 70, so the temperature's gonna drop quick. We gotta get warm real quick, so we got a lot of work to do. I'll try to do as best I can to show you what's going on, but we gotta get a fire made and my truck and the kayaks all dragged up here. So let's let's put the camera down and do it. All right, so Caleb's gonna build the fire pit. We have one here. I think we're just gonna kind of relocate it. We didn't want to camp out here. We chose sure. this little hill. Got the fire going. Try not to burn our sausages, but cook them at the same time. Our little rack's not very tall, but I think it's going pretty well. We got this and some sausage. It's gonna get cold tonight. I know it doesn't look like it yet because Caleb's in uh, his flip flops, but it's gonna get down in what 36 tonight. Yeah. And this is this is what we got. Uh, we got we got a, some sausages and some hot dogs, but that's that's dinner. Okay, so we cooked the breakfast sausage and now we're gonna cook some hot dogs and some little bacon wrapped popper things. We're trying to make us some food to eat, so we're gonna get back to it. Looks pretty good to me. Definitely edible. Nice hot dog. Caleb, you good? That's right. 
Well, good morning. Gotta do the essentials here and brush the old teeth. Slept pretty good last night. It was like 34 degrees though. Woke up a few times, but we're gonna do a little bit more fishing. Get the old teethies clean. We're gonna wait around today. We don't really have time to go on another float, but we still need to get that big small mouth. Uh, you know, it's getting pretty tough. It rained a lot right before we got here. Not trying to make excuses, but the locals said the fishing just wasn't gonna be that good since the river's up a little bit. And that all the fish would go back into the tributaries, uh, which are the smaller creeks that run into here. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know, this is all new to me, but we're gonna get out. We're just gonna see if we can catch some. It's pretty cold right now though, and we're gonna pack up camp a little bit and get ready. We gotta load those jacks up and clean up a little bit, but we're gonna do some more fishing, guys. Don't worry. We got five. It's not very deep out here. Yeah, maybe over there. We wouldn't put some like crawfish and stuff. I'd like to do the first crawfish. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going back to the camp and walking that stretch. Little skinny one. Got one. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, it's got one, baby. It feels like a good one, too. It's just in the current. Heck yes. Woo, buddy. PB Smalley. <laughs> Probably. Yes. That's awesome, he smoked a little swim bait. This is what we came 400 miles for, the smallmouth bass. Even though this isn't the biggest one, we're having fun out here in the creek catching them. I mean, look at the scenery. It's just awesome. But let's get this little guy released and catch some more. Yeah, let's walk back or walk to the other side up here, but I think it's just too swift. Oh. Caleb, what happened? What happened? What happened? Come on. No, don't go that way. This way. Or, yeah, go to the rock. I told you not to go over there. Is your phone waterproof? So the wade fishing did not go so well. I caught one fish and then, well, the water, as you can see, has come up and it's got pretty stained and that kind of affected the fishing a little bit. It's really just the water rising. And then it kind of swept Caleb away. We had waders on, so it was actually really scary. Uh, his phone went underwater, and he's in shorts now, and he says he's not cold, because I imagine that water's a lot colder than it is out, but uh, we're gonna get packed up. We gotta head home. It was an awesome trip. Guys, that wraps up the smallmouth trip here on the Buffalo River. We both need showers. We got everything packed up. We're about to head back to Mississippi. We got a little drive ahead of us, but thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We definitely plan on coming back, or if you know some better places that we could go get on some smallmouth, some bigger smallmouth, uh, definitely drop it in the comments below because we didn't catch any big ones, but man, we enjoyed the scenery. So thanks for watching the video again. See y'all next time.